everybody, it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and welcome to Free to Five Friday, where I share tips for your home, business, or personal life that are free to up to $5. So on this episode of Free to Five Friday, I'll be sharing with you 10 free tools that you can use to help your merch by Amazon or print on demand business to help you make extra money without spending a lot of money. All right, so on to the 10 free tools to help you with your merch by Amazon or print on demand business. Let's get started. The first free tool is placeit.net. Now this site has a paid version as well as some free um, tools that you can use. The part that I use are some of the design templates that are free. So if you select design or hover over it and then slide down to t-shirt design templates, you will see that there are a number of free design templates that you can use to help create shirt designs for your print on demand, whether merch by Amazon or another platform. Um, there are quite a few. Now I will caution you to check. I think they've changed it to where all of their fonts are okay to use for commercial use, but just check just to make sure. Um, I haven't, I, when they first started doing this, there was a font that was available that I ended up purchasing, but I noticed that it's no longer available. So as far as I know, um, they are okay to use, but you'll want to double check that as well. So they have different images. They've got different templates and frames. I've used placeit.net on a number of my Let's Create a Shirt Together videos. I will go ahead and link one of them up above if you want to see how to create a shirt using placeit.net. So the second free tool that I use for every single shirt print on demand that I make all of my research, I use merchinformer.com and forward slash merch slash Amazon or dash listings. Um, when I type it in, I actually type in merch research and it takes me straight to this site um, because it forwards it on to that. So Merch Informer does have a paid version as well, but this portion you can use, and there are other features in there that are in the free version as well. So if you choose not to sign up for it, there is a free version that you can use. And what I use Merch Research for is to research merch. This search engine will allow you to search only the Merch by Amazon shirts that are listed on Amazon. So when I come to Merch Research and I wanna see how many shirts there are for Thrifty Living. Let's put in Thrifty Living and click search. It will open up a new window and it will let me know all of the Thrifty Living shirts that are out there. Um, these, are where, these are shirts that would have Thrifty Living in the title or keywords or something like that. Look, there's only two. Oh my goodness, I need to jump on that. <laughs> so um, for example, let's do one that's maybe just Thrifty and see how many there's 121 there so merch informer will allow you to research your niche that you're looking into and come over and you can sort them by relevance high to low price feature new arrivals blah 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 customer reviews uh, so it's a really great tool to use to see how saturated your niche is and this is where i'm seeing the number there are 121 shirts right there with thrifty in the title or in the keywords. So definitely a tool to use when you are researching your merch or print on demand shirt designs. So the third free tool is Adobe Capture CC. This is an app for your phone and you do not have to have Adobe on your computer. It's a completely free app. I used it before I signed up for Adobe Suite. Um, you can take pictures. Let's say you are having trouble finding a clip art that is something that you like. You can take pictures of objects that you see around town as long as it's not like McDonald's, you can't use that still, but things like, for example, let me share with you one of mine. This was a toy octopus that was something that was one of my kids' toys. It was a little octopus. And so on Adobe Capture, I was able to create this image to use on a shirt. I have another no. video that I did where I show how I created the image on Adobe Capture from start all the way to creating an image for shirt and was able to play around with it using another free program. Adobe Capture is another great free asset to use. It is free and it is an app on your phone so you can take pictures of things while you're out and about and use them to create designs for your shirt. All right, so the next free tool is Lunapic. This is a website where you can upload images or photos to edit them, create filters, and make your shirt designs more interesting. I have a video that I created using Adobe Capture and Lunapix together to create a really cool shirt design, and I will link that up here so you can see how I use the different effects and filters for my shirt design. I'll just do a quick drop down so you can see. These are a lot of the different filters you can apply to your design. There are effects. 
And then there are also art um, filters that you can apply to your design, which I will show you in that video. So the fifth tool that I use that has a free version and a paid version, I do use the paid version because I use it all the time for everything, is PicMonkey. Now on the free version, you can still design. You won't have as many font options or filters or things like that that you can use, but it's still usable. So you would select blank canvas. This is what I do. And then I select an eight by 10 or eight and a half by 11 size to create my template for my shirt, this shirt size. So there are a lot of different fonts to choose from over here. Now, some of them, they say noose. If there's a little crown, that's for the paid version. I think you might be able to use them right now. Nope, you can't. You have to start the seven day free trial. So it shows you all the different ones. There's lots of different fonts to use. There are lots of different graphics you can use and effects that you can use to create different shirt designs. I have talked to PicMonkey, messaged them, and as long as the elements are used within a design, not just you've taken their image and put it on a shirt and that's it, um, you can use them to create shirt designs as long as it's part of an element, not the just the item on there. So PicMonkey is another one that has a free version if you are not wanting to pay for the membership. The next tool that I use that is free is a Chrome plugin. So you have to use this on your Google Chrome browser. So Unicorn Smasher helps you organize the data from the listings that you find on Merch. It's, let me share with you, it's easier to show you than it is for me to tell you. So I use Unicorn Smasher in conjunction with Merch Research. So I will sign into Merch Research. I'll select a, a title. Let's say I want to do um, cat space shirts, right? Okay, so there are 494 cat space shirts. So in order for me to use Unicorn Smasher to help me, if you can see right here, this is where the plugin is. Once I have it on this page, where it's only Amazon shirts, I will select Unicorn Smasher and it will sort through these shirts that I have selected, these cat space shirts, and it will pull them all up. It will tell me all their prices. It will tell me all their ranks. And then as soon as it stops now, you can keep loading to add more pages. But I'm, for this video, I'm just going to share with you these. So you can hover over them. It'll show you a quick image of the picture. And then you can sort by rank. And if you are new to what this means, the smaller the number, the better. So this shirt is selling better than these other shirts. The ones with no number or no rank means they haven't sold. So then at this point, what you can do is see what kind of title and keywords these shirts are using. What kind of things do they have in common? Are there elements you might consider when you're creating your shirt? I in no way say use this to create your own you know, to copy that, but you can see what's working, what's not working. You know, if you were to select one of these that hasn't sold, then maybe you could compare, okay, this is not sold. Why? Why? Would, well, it's cute. I don't know why it hasn't sold. You know, maybe it's the price. This one is really dark. Maybe that's why that hasn't sold. I don't know. So you can go through and compare different keywords, titles, and the ranking of the shirt. So that's a really useful tool that I use all the time. It is a Unicorn Smasher plugin for your Chrome browser. The next free tool that I use a lot is DS Amazon Quick View. I get a lot of comments asking me about this plugin when people watch my videos and I'm sharing my research for Merch by Amazon shirts. So again, I use this in conjunction with Merch Research. I do this a lot apparently. <laughs> merch research and let's go ahead and type in that kitty space shirt again so we can use the same search so cat space there we go so now when I use my plugin it, I don't even have to click it so where is it it is this one right here with the little fist going like that right I don't even have to click that if I'm just wanting to just quickly sort through this DS Amazon quick view is what gives me these numbers here it tells me the ranking without me having to click on the shirt and go into the description and find the rank um, because it's there. So it pulls that out and sticks it right up front and center. So as I scroll through, I can see the sales ranking of the different shirts as I'm looking at them. So I can see ones that are lower ranking, which is good. Some have no ranking, which means it hasn't sold. So there is that to look at as well. Oh, this is cute. I don't know why it hasn't sold. Anyway, that's not why we're here. So DS Amazon Quick View, it gives you those ranking numbers up front and center when you are doing your research, which is really helpful and very, very time saving. 
So the eighth free tool is also a tool that has a paid version, but this website, fontbundles.net, has free fonts, and I think these rotate. So what you'll need to do is come over to fontbundles.net and check out the free font of the week. There are also some other free fonts. It is important that you check that they are good for commercial use. So definitely check the license when you're downloading these to use on something that you're planning on selling. So take a look over at fontbundles.net at the different free fonts that you can upload on the device or whatever you're using your program for creating your shirts. So there's lots of cool ones there. Again, check the commercial license. Let's see real quick if we can see where they have that down here. So you can check the font license there, which allows commercial use, it tells me automatically, boom, allows commercial use. So you can check that out. So those are important things to keep in mind when you're getting free fonts from reputable sites, not ones that are stealing fonts and selling them to you like shady like. So fontbundles.net has some free fonts for you to check out. So the next free tool for your print-on-demand business is the collaboration or integration rather with Printful and Etsy. Now, the reason I'm saying it is free is because I have a coupon code for you to get 40 free listings on Etsy if you sign up with my link. Now, if you sign up with that link, you get 40 free and I get 40 free too, so it's a double perk. So what this is, for example, if you are not proof for merch by Amazon or you just want to have your designs out on multiple platforms, you can use Printful and push those designs over to Etsy. So they, and again, Printful has lots of different, they have t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, mugs, pillows, they have tons of different things. So over on my Texas Gal Design site on Etsy, I've used the Printful integration to share some shirts, mugs, and onesies. I have not finished uploading different ones yet, but I just wanted to share this with you. So I've got a few different shirts, I've got a mug, I've got a onesie, um, just to give you an example of some of the things you can do. And what happens here is when they buy it off of Etsy, Printful ships it and fulfills it for you. Now I've got two videos about how to set up your Printful and Etsy integration. The first video I left out an important step, so make sure you watch that second video. I will link them here up above, one after the other, and go check them out. So the 10th free tool for your Merch by Amazon or print on demand business is this free Kindle book, Merch by Amazon Blueprint. Now this could and will probably at different times be not free and then it switches back to free. So I've, I've shared it out a few different times and sometimes it's free and sometimes the price is a dollar. So you keep checking back if you click it and it's not free. So come back and, and check it out later. So I will link this down below so you can get this for your Kindle. If you don't have a Kindle device, you can download the Kindle app on any device. So you can read it through the Kindle app on any device. Wait, don't go anywhere. I've got some bonus freebies. So another great resource that I love is my good friend Yong's website, Geek Hustle. So if you have not signed up for his emails yet, definitely sign up. He gives lots of resources on his website of places to get free or really inexpensive design tools, font bundles, all sorts of different things and information to help you learn and grow more with your print on demand business. I'm just scrolling through a little bit. He gives out lots of great information, so definitely sign up for his email. It is worth it. And then another amazing resource is my good friend Joe's Facebook page, Merch University, where he plays Professor Joe, and he sets lessons. He gives away lots of freebies, free designs. He has, I think he still does it weekly, a weekly, you know, sign up to win a free design. It's, he gives out a ton of amazing information to help you improve your design skills and to help you improve your merch by Amazon or print on demand business. So those are two resources that I highly, highly recommend. Um, Joe will push you to improve yourself every day and Yang gives out amazing information. Um, he also has a, a Facebook page called Merch Minds. It is in conjunction with his podcast that he does with Glenn Zubia, who is Hustler Hack. So big shout out to those guys. They give out great information. So if you aren't following them, definitely check them out. So those are 10 plus free tips to help you with your merch by Amazon or print on demand business. 
I want to challenge you all to leave a comment down below to share one other way that you have found that is free for your print on demand or merch by Amazon business. And if you haven't yet, check out the comment section down below because there are tons of great ideas to help you with your merch on demand and print on demand businesses for free. If you are new here, I'd like to welcome you. My channel is all about thrifty and frugal living. I will help teach you ways to earn and save money, both for your business and for your home and personal life. So hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you're notified the next time I put up a video like this, Free to Five Friday, or one of my other thrifty or frugal tip videos. Really helpful and very, very time-saving. Very time-saving? Is that grammatically correct? I'm not sure things to your, not your burps. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> Ooh, do over. <laughs>